Tempo is how fast or slow you and your opponent move about the mat. In today's show, I want to uh, just show you, uh, I think, three videos that I have lined up here uh, for, for beginners, for new students, and teaching them to appreciate tempo, to, to regulate tempo, to, to speed up, slow down, whatever they need to do to control their opponent's movement. And this is a, a little worked on thing. We see it a lot, of course, when we do Rondori, and we kind of naturally drift to that, you know, all of us do. And, and, and But in our coaching, I think we should really pay some attention to that. And right at the early part of their career, give them an appreciation of how to control the tempo of their body and their opponent's body. So anyway, this is a very basic uh, set of drills that we're doing here. It's just movement and different movement patterns, and you'll see it. So here we go. Uh, appreciation of tempo movement type drills. So there we go. What we're going to do is we're going to work on movement drills and just moving and changing the tempo, changing the pace of how fast I, I move Derek, okay? And the drills for me, and we can do it in a lot of different directions. So what we're going to do, we're going to start this direction. Uh, let's say I'm going to start here, okay? Now I'm just going to go to a lateral movement like we do our sugiyashi, you know, sidestepping, you know, lateral movement, sliding drill. But I'm going to go fast, I'm going to go slow, okay? So let's start down here. And he's just going to cooperate with me. What this teaches you is to regulate how fast or slow you want to take your opponent, okay? So I may start out pretty fast, let's just work quickly, and I'll slow down, okay? I'll step up faster again, and I'll slow down, maybe come back this way. We'll slow down. Let me change direction. And he stays with me, okay? And then back and forth. That'll be his turn. And it's a real good basic drill just to teach you speed up, slow down, speed up, slow down. All the while, good posture. I'm not hunched over, okay? My hips are close enough to attack and defend, okay? And again, we're just moving. And, and not, you know, it's good movement, not crossing feet. And just keep. I'm going to come back here. And eventually we'll move around different directions, okay? That'll be the drill. Okay, team up, let's do that. Open his foot as he steps. See that? Foot side, step and go. Good, okay. And toward the sleeve side, step and go. Let's take another level. This time, I'm going to do it in a different direction. I'm going to go forward and back, kind of a yumiyashi, normal step. And I'm just going to, and I'm just going to move him, maybe faster, slower. And I'm going to regulate him now with my hands as well. Okay. So not just the movement of my body, how fast my feet go, where my hips go, but I'm going to move him with my hands too. So I'm going to just start moving back this way, move back a little bit. Back a little bit. Let me change a little bit. But you see how we're changing tempos? And after a while, we just turn on me. All we're doing is changing the tempo, regulating the tempo. That's what this drill is about. Okay? Get your partner in the same thing. It's warm one. Thank you, sir. Is These are old drills, but they're good. They're just real basic things, but we can really look for our basics. This time, I'm just going to move around different directions. Slow them up, or speed them up, slow them down, that type of thing. And I'm just going to move around. He'll cooperate with me. It's a, it's a movement drill. So I'm just moving around all different directions. So look, see the position I'm in? I'm always kind of hips close. I can attack and defend if I needed to. But I'm going to move this way. Slow down. Turn around, nice and back here. And he's staying with me. It's a good drill for him, too, because he's watching my movement. He's gauging what I'm doing, too. I'll do that a while, and he'll do it a while, okay? Last drill. Last drill in the series. Okay. 